I think that many gardeners are faced with the situation when a hydrangea potted bush suddenly begins to wither. Hydrangeas may collapse even after short breaks between waterings or from extreme heat, and this often happens with hydrangea as it is a very moisture demanding plant. Oftentimes many people think that the plant has died and the bush like mine normally ends up in the garbage. On the other hand, if I'm lucky enough to buy such a hydrangea on sale in the garden center, and if the process of dehydration hasn't gone too far, then the hydrangea can almost always be brought back to life and fairly quickly. I got this hydrangea for just $5 when it costs 30. So how can you get hydrangeas to hydrate quickly and efficiently? I often hear that many people, even when watering the plant, don't get any results or it takes a lot of time. So I'm going to show you how you can reverse dehydration just in a couple of hours. Looking at how the hydrangea roots look like, the soil inside is very dry and the roots are clearly dehydrated. If such a pot is watered from the top, then the very dry, crumpled up earth saturated with air is not going to be able to absorb the moisture and all the water is going to simply flow around a lump of soil and then pour out. Although you think that you have watered the plant. I'm going to water the hydrangea by immersion to make sure the soil gets wet. But many people know about this, so what is new here? I have my own secrets as a florist, so I'm going to show you how to use these secrets to revive your plant quickly. I will prepare warm water by adding boiling water into a bucket of colder water. Temperature is a catalyst for biological processes, and this will significantly accelerate the hydration. The water can't be too hot, but it must be tolerable for your hand. Very hot water can damage dehydrated roots. Water also quickly loses its heat, giving energy to the plant, so don't be too worried about this. The next step is to stop the evaporation of moisture through the leaf surface as much as you possibly can, since the plant also loses a lot of moisture during respiration, so stopping this loss can significantly speed up the process. I'm going to spray the entire bush thoroughly with water. And the last step is heating the roots from below and stopping evaporation from above to accelerate. You should put the hydrangea either in a cool room or better in a refrigerator. The most effective temperature is from five to 10 degrees Celsius. It's even noticeable right now how some of these flowers are beginning to come to life. I'm going to set up a time-lapse video and leave the pot in the state for two to three hours. The plant comes to life before our eyes. Of course, not all the flowers, since with dehydration, there is always a point of death beyond which you cannot reverse. This is a biological rule for any living plant, even the most tenacious ones. The leaves turgor begins to return and they begin to rise. I'm going to hold the bush in the fridge for another hour or so for complete hydration. After that, it is necessary to remove all the dead parts of the plant, the flowers, and also the leaves in order to avoid bacterial and fungal infections that may appear on the dead parts of the plant. Having cut them off, I will plant a bush in the garden. If this is not possible, then you will need to make sure that the dehydration does not recur since this will cause a lot of stress for the plant.